Hi, I'm Paul from pdhsports.com, the leading online racket specialist, and today I'm joined with Sophie, who also works at uh, PDH Sports and is our uh, badminton expert. You might have seen Sophie on some of our um, badminton reviews and everything. So, good morning, Sophie. Good morning. So, Sophie's going to join me in today's vlog, which is going to be focusing on all the new Adidas badminton. So, um, some of it, uh, like Sophie's got more knowledge than me, so we're gonna be sort of asking Sophie some questions today. And um, yeah, we're hopefully gonna give a little bit of a insight into the bags, some of the shoes, the new rackets. So, so, so should we um, start off with the rackets? Like, so if we, uh, so, so Adidas Badminton, uh, for the first time in a long time, has brought out some badminton rackets. Um, if you want to give us a little insight, I mean, maybe starting with the junior, the junior racket. So we've we've got a junior racket which is starting at fourteen pounds forty-five. Um, so who's that really sort of aimed at? Yeah, so it's just that like you know, you beginner kids. It's really kind of like a it's a full aluminium frame. It's kind of it's a shorter length, so it's uh, twenty-five inches instead of twenty-seven. Um, so it's just kind of that really first starter racket, getting your kids on court, getting them playing. You know rather than when a full length racket might be a little bit too long it just makes it a little bit easier for them to hit the shuttle okay so we've got like a lot of these these first rackets so you would say are probably more suited to beginners because i mean uh like so so the, the, a lot of these rackets are sort of german named <laughs> <laughs> so if we go into the sort of next uh three or four if you want to talk about those so we've got the e06 yeah i'll call it rather than the spieler <laughs> spieler, spieler. Um, so, do you want to, what's that one yeah, all about? So again, that's like your first racket when you know for kids when they've just they've gone up from the next size into a full size racket. It's just kind of a great beginner racket. You're not going to break the bank. You know, if they're just starting and you're not too sure whether they're going to continue. You know, it's seventeen pound. You know, it's nice and bright. They'll like hitting with it. And yeah, it's kind of a really good starter racket. And then we go on to the uh, Spieler E Active. Yeah, so, so we've got two of them. You know, two different designs, so they can pick which one they choose. So they're a little bit heavier, so you get a little bit extra power, and they've kind of got a little bit more flexibility in them. They're kind of, you know, when you so you now started, it's kind of that next level racket. Are these are these uh, graphite or still uh, composite? Yeah, no, I think they're uh, the full graphite ones. So, um, and then we've got a little bit of a jump up to the. Uh, Spieler F09.1 Yeah, so that's more of your kind of club player level. They start to go really light. I think Adidas is all this Spieler range is kind of like the starter ones, but you've got quite a range in it. Um, but all their next level ones are really nice and lightweight, nice medium flex, uh, medium balance. So they're kind of a great all rounder kind of club level. You know, you're starting to really get your technique sorted and yeah, they're really nice rackets for the price. So a lot of people obviously <coughs> will know Adidas from all the clothing and their footwear. Um, how do you think these, these sort of Adidas rackets are going to fit in against some of the you know top badminton brands like Yonex? Um, I mean, I think they've got a good, you know, their style's really nice. You know, it's the classic three stripes. It'll stand out on court. And I think they've kind of aimed it right. You know, we've got the kind of beginner rackets because you know, if you're going to buy a top racket, you're going to think of Yonex or Babolat or um, some of the other brands. Whereas, you know, if you're just getting started, you're not bothered about the brand. I think they've gone, you know, they've gone well this year with kind of the colorways and everything. They'll stand out and court a lot. Brilliant. So, so these last final three rackets, what uh, they start to add a little bit more technology. So they're, they're sort of to the more. Um, you know, the high level player? Yeah, so again, they're all really light and then we've got a super light one, which, you know, it's for really quick. You know, you might put it on more of a singles player who wants the fast movement or maybe doubles who's quick on the net. Um, and they all have this smart carbon, which tells you like kind of the makeup of each racket. Um, so you can compare them like between each one. And So we've added, a, we've got a video on that as well, haven't we? Yes, on the, on yeah. the website, on a lot of the products that features that, it is, there is a video on our YouTube channel and on the website, which, explains that a little bit more yeah. so um, <clears throat> so if we go to so we're gonna go to the F09.1 SL is that yeah. that's that one that's yeah so that's a uh, 73 grams so that's really lightweight for a racket it's got a bit of a head heavy balance so you still get that nice power from it 
And yeah, it's, it's a nice looking racket, I'd say, for, you know, that kind of mid-level club player who wants something that's nice and easy. You know, you can play for three or four hours and you're not going to tire with this racket. It's, it's got a really nice feel to it. And then finally, our sort of, for the one, for the ones that we're doing at PDH Sports, the, the VUT P3. Yeah, so that's like, you, you kind of top club level player, it's a bit more weight to it, so it's 86 grams, a bit heavier, nice head heavy balance. I'd say this is probably their best one, you know, it's got the widened grommets, so you can get a little bit more string movement, get a little bit more power, you know, really nice kind of mid rear court doubles player, I'd say that one's aimed at. Excellent. Okay. Right. So, and then, um, I mean, we do do a wide range of Adidas indoor shoes, but these two in particular um, are new to the sort of more badminton specific they're driven to, towards, aren't they? So we've got the the Vut P501. I mean, um, so a, a couple of our staff members have tried this on and. Um, well, they've tried them both on, and the the, the general consensus is this one was a little bit tighter, a um, little bit little bit firmer, isn't it, as a shoe? Yeah. So, um, and obviously that one comes with the sort of sock sock lining, so quite a unique feature. I actually think they look better in uh, real life than they yeah. probably do on the website. So, um, but um, yeah, do you want to tell us a little bit about about that one? Yeah, so it's kind of, um, it's got a really good sole for badminton. A really good thing we always look at um, is whether they've got a circle here, which is a bit more of a pivot point. Um, so it makes it really good to push off. It's nice and lightweight. It's got a bit of a breathable upper. And again, like this, this sock bit's really well padded on the inside as well. And I think it gives you that extra bit of support, you know, you know, if you struggled with maybe ankle problems or just feel like you want a little bit more, I'd say it's a really nice shoe. So Jamie's just started wearing that and he did he did highlight, he did, one of our staff members is, is wearing a shoe and he's referenced the fact that he likes the extra support because I wasn't sure how it would feel but he says that you, you barely notice it apart from it feels like it's just giving you a little bit of extra comfort around, around the ankle. It seems yeah. to be sort of, a lot of the football shoes and things like that are following that style so yeah, I think it's quite an interesting shoe. Um, so then, uh, before we get onto the bags and everything, we've got some accessories. So let's have a little look at these uh, the grips. I mean, uh, so we've got the the is that the what? Vutch. The Vutch P5 grip. So this is an explosive badminton grip. So if we have a little look at that one, and then we've got so that, so one of the, you've got an explosive fast. And then uh, accuracy. accuracy. So, like all these, all the grips, they come in a three pack, and they they um, have a little bit of a sort of sample of what they would feel like. I mean, to be honest with you, we haven't really tried these as yet. So this is kind of like uh, our first look. So, what we're going to probably try and do is get like a full detailed review of the actual product. But I mean, they're just over grips, aren't they? So yeah. this um, is that one. That, is that the the fast one? Oh, this is the accuracy. accuracy one. Is that like a drier, drier uh, feel? Oh, it's a bit more tacky. I think the Uber Show one's a bit drier. It's drier. And, then the and this one. Bit of an in between, I in think. Between, yeah. yeah. They kind of got a nice range and they're good colours. Yeah. I personally like the little box. It's yeah, so they come in like a nice little organiser. So uh, uh, and obviously all the Adidas branding. So um, if you've not checked those out, it's worth having a look at those. Um, the strings as well, so they've got, we've got like three uh, strings, so again, uh, as it's a fairly new product, it, you know, we can't really give too much detail about how they perform because we yet to actually test them ourselves, but we, we've just, uh, we've, we've, we've got them and we will do, a, like I say, a full detailed review, but they seem to be doing, they're doing like an explosive accuracy and a fast badminton string what does that what does fast badminton string mean do you know uh so it's a little bit thinner so it means you get a little it makes your rackets feel a little bit lighter weight you know it sounds silly but you can definitely tell the difference when i've strung them in different thicknesses it does give it a little bit nicer feel yeah. um so yeah and then your other two are a little bit thicker you've got one for more power based and one for a little bit more control based excellent right okay so um shuttles again so can you tell us a little bit about the shuttles? Yeah, so we've got like quite a broad range of shuttles. So um, we, we've got a one, a three, a five, six, and a seven. So your one's like, you know, you just basic tournament. I think they're about 15 pound, um, which you use goose feathers. And then they go up to the seven, which is a high quality duck feather. So that's like your premium tournament. I think it's quite good. They've got quite a nice range, you know, because um, 
it is better to hit with feather shuttles but obviously you don't always want to break the bank because they do break quite easily so I think they're better that they've got a nice range you know you can kind of pick how much you want to spend on them okay right right so and then finally um, the the bags so um, there's the six sort of badminton uh, bags that we've got in the range and um, they've been selling really well haven't they so yeah. we've done really well with those so the um, if we start off um, quite an unusual one so we've got the six here because at the moment we've actually we've actually sold out of the three haven't you yeah. but, but this is the uh, the VS6 yeah. so um, can you give us a little insight into to this bag and why do you think this one's been these ones have been so popular yeah so it's like quite a different design and I think quite a lot of people like that you know it's quite simple colors um, they're really good for uh, badminton so they've got a side pocket and at first I didn't think it would fit but they actually go all the way to this top bit so you can fit your rackets down the side bit and then you've, it means you've got a nice spacious compartment in the middle and then a separate shoe compartment at the top so it keeps all your kit separate and it's really nice design. So can it fit, uh, will it fit like squash tennis rackets in? Yeah, so you'd probably only fit one tennis racket, but you can definitely fit a squash racket in it as well and you'd probably fit, I mean. And it's, it is part as well, isn't it? It is, it is part listed as in the hockey range as well. So yeah. if, if anyone's uh, <laughs> playing hockey as well as badminton, it's, it sort of does cross over to that, but um, yeah. And it feels really nice, you know, it feels like a nice good made bag, you know, it's nice thick material you're not going to break it anytime soon so, so th that also comes in like a three so a slightly smaller one doesn't it yeah and so. then the smaller one has a zip down the back bit so you put your rackets like kind of along the back where the straps are and then you've got a main front compartment for your accessories I'm not sure I understand. <laughs> and then it's got uh, it hasn't got the shoe pocket on top excellent so um backpack so this is quite a large backpack isn't it so comes with so this is the the u5 um you want to tell us a little bit about, yeah. about this bag so i'd say this is really you know if you're like a uni student or traveling quite a lot it's probably perfect so you've got a nice padded back and a slit down the back to put your rackets your handles will stick out um you've got a shoe pocket on the bottom with some ventilation um and then inside you've got a laptop sleeve which is obviously really handy if you're traveling and it's nice and spacious. It's a very detailed, detailed bag, isn't it? Yeah, and then you've got a wet kit as well, so it's a really nice design. You know, it's nice and simple, and I think it's been really popular for us. And everyone who's bought them have, have said it's how nice it is. You know, it's so you're getting so that one retails at like fifty-five pounds. So uh, you're getting quite a lot of bag for that retail price. So some of the, some of the bags that are on the market are for that much detail are probably a little bit more. So it's yeah. good, good value, and again comes with the Adidas styling. Yeah, it's a really nice bag that one. And then, um, so finally, um, on the bag range, um, you've got the the sort of tournament kit. So you've got like a, that's like a big, large holder, isn't it? And then we've also got a six and a nine uh, racket bag. Yeah. Uh, so this one's, I don't know, quite a lot of people on the badminton seem, seem to have been having these at the minute. Uh, they're quite popular. So it's just like a long, thin one. You've got space for your rackets space for your accessories in a front pocket and then you've got a couple on the interior as well which is quite nice and an additional shoe pocket that doesn't look like it would be big enough but we've tried it and it is so yeah excellent so uh, and then like i say so in that same color styling um there's the the six racket bag so like a proper racket bag isn't it um again like all of these are slightly um different styling aren't they but yeah. um, they're nice and it also comes with a nine racket bag so um, yeah so really there you go that, so that's today's vlog thank you Sophie um, and a real sort of look at uh, Adidas Badminton so Adidas Badminton new for sort of 2019 going to 2020 um, lots of exciting new products and like I said if you you know Adidas being such a strong brand it's quite exciting to see them come back into badminton all these products are available at pdhsports.com we'll put some links down below on our channel and uh, if you have any questions then feel free to uh, post them down below okay thanks a lot